Good afternoon to the people. I'm sorry. I'm just confused. Wake up too early this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good, good afternoon. Okay. Let's um, go ahead with Exodus 20. Exodus 20. Let's open up with Exodus 20. Go ahead. Read that. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yes. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image mm -hmm. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. That's right. Or that is in the earth beneath mm -hmm. or that is in the water under the earth. That's right. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Yes, sir. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, let's go to Ecclesiastes, the um, 12th chapter, and we're going to read two verses there. Verses 13 and 14. Go ahead. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Believe that, sister and brother. Let's go to um, Revelation 22. And we're going to read two verses there, verses 14 and 15. Go ahead, read when you get there. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and make it a lie. That's right, that's right. So, okay, today's topic is sacrifice and offering to peace the Lord. Sacrifice and offering to peace the Lord. This is today's title, today's lesson. Um, today's lesson, we're going to be dealing with, um, we're going to talk about the sacrifice and how the sacrifice is done away with. And um, also we're going to show you because this lesson is born because of some people you say that the, the bed is undefiled, knowing not what that means, right? So that's why I want to show you that God is particular. He, he, he wants things to be done in order and in decency, mm -hmm. right? That's why I brought this lesson forward, to show you how how picky he is he is, and what you got to do to please him or to please him. Yes. You can't just do any, anything and it be acceptable in the sight of, of God, right? Because God is holy. We're going to show you here. He is he's holy and he wants things to done in decency and in order. 
You can't just run into the sanctuary and do any anything, right? We're going to look at all that today. But um, so we're going to talk about peace offering, sin offering, first fruit offering, trespass offering. And um, I got some definition here. Sacrifice. It's an act of offering to a deity, right? Then we got offering. It's a thing offered, especially as a gift or contribution, an animal or sacrifice unto the Lord, right? Or a deity, right? Um, next. Peace. To appease, right? Is, is to uh, pacify, to make peace, or be reconciled, right? That's what that means. So, you know, trespass is when you go somewhere that you don't have no permission, right? So we're going to look into these things today. So contrary to um, the common church out there, that you... Um, all you got to do is call upon Jesus and you save, right? That's not, it's a lot of work to be done, right? You got to endure to the end, and you got to um, remain holy before the Lord. Because as soon as you don't, uh, you don't do that, the Lord, you know, he, he wants to, to cut you off, basically. Um, but let's go. But God have mercy on us, right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. Let's go to Leviticus. It's going to be a lot of reading system, brother, because that's the only way we can get some understanding, right? We have um, little ones here, too. Uh, you know, reading is fundamental, right? Yeah, because, uh, uh, you know, we don't want to complain because um, murmuring, God do not like that. Right. Right? So please don't complain because we got a lot of scripture to read, right? Because God don't like that. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Read. And the Lord called unto Moses. Leviticus, the first chapter. We're going to read uh, the whole chapter. Go ahead. And spake unto him out of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, mm -hmm. If any man of you bring an offering unto the Lord, you shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd and of the flock, so this is a free will offering, you know, you're going to bring to the Lord. Go ahead. If his offering be a burnt sacrifice of the herd, mm -hmm. let him offer a meal without blemish. Mm -hmm. He shall offer it of his own voluntary will. So you see how the Lord is telling you, if you're going to bring an offering to me, make sure you bring it without no blemish. Mm -hmm. You can't bring any, anything to the Lord in the sight of the Lord, right? Right. Go ahead. So you, 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 you know, you... Go ahead. We, we're going to get into it. Go ahead. At the door of the tabernacle mm -hmm. of the congregation before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he shall put his hand upon the head of the burnt offering. Uh -huh. And it shall be accepted for him mm -hmm. to make atonement for him. Mm -hmm. And he shall kill the bullock before the Lord. Because once, it, once they look at it and they, they see it that had no blemish, it's acceptable to the Lord. Right? right? Read on. And the priest, Aaron's sons, mm -hmm. shall bring the blood. And sprinkle the blood round about upon the altar. Wait a minute. There's an order? You got to have the, the, the Levit Leviticus priest do it. Um, take that animal and deal with it. You can't deal with it after that? After you bring it, they take care of it. Right? Right. right. Go ahead. That is by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Uh-huh. And he shall flay the burnt offering mm -hmm. and cut it into his pieces. And the sons of Aaron, the priests shall put fire upon the altar, uh -huh. and lay the wood in order upon the fire. Mm -hmm. And the priest, Aaron's son, shall lay the parts, the head and the fat, mm -hmm. in order upon the wood. In that is order? Did he say in order? In order. What? Go ahead. Upon the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. Uh -huh. But his inwards and his legs shall he wash in water. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall burn all on the altar mm -hmm. to be a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire. Of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Mm. And if a it's sweet savor mean, mean a good smelling, right? Smelling mm -hmm. to the Lord. Right. Aroma, right? Go ahead. And if his offering be of the flocks, mm -hmm. namely of the sheep or of the goats for a burnt sacrifice, he shall bring it a male without blemish. Notice he didn't, he didn't mention a pig or none of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. See what the Lord is dealing with. Go ahead. And he shall kill it on the side of the altar, uh -huh. northward before the Lord. And the priest, Aaron's son. He said, not what? Go ahead. 
shall sprinkle his blood round about upon the altar, mm -hmm. and he shall cut it into his pieces with his head and his fat. And the priest shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire which is upon the altar. Mm -hmm. But he shall wash the inwards and the legs with water, and the priest shall bring it all and burn it upon the altar. Mm -hmm. It is a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. This appeased God. When he said that it appeased him, he accepted it, right? Go ahead. And if the burnt sacrifice for his offering to the Lord be of fowls, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or of young pigeons. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall bring it unto the altar and wring off his head mm -hmm. and burn it on the altar. And the blood thereof shall be wrung out at the side of the altar. And he shall pluck away his crop with his feathers and cast it beside the altar on the east part. So he's doing something different for the, for the mm -hmm. turtle dove, right? He's doing right. something totally different, right? Go ahead. By the place of the ashes. Mm -hmm. And he shall cleave it with the wings thereof, but shall not divide it asunder. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar, upon the wood that is upon the fire. It is a burnt sacrifice, an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. All right, skip, uh, read on to um, 2, chapter 2. We're going to read from, um, we're going to read 1 to 10, and then we're going to do some skipping. Go ahead. And when any will offer a meat offering unto the Lord, his offering shall be a fine flour, and he shall pour oil upon it. And put frankincense thereon. Mm, frankincense, huh? Go ahead. And he shall bring it to Aaron's sons, the priests. And he shall take there out his hand full of the flour thereof, and of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof. And the priest shall burn the memorial of it upon the altar, mm -hmm. to being offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the remnant of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is a thing most holy. Of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. So Aaron them gets to eat what left over, right? Go ahead. And if thou bring an oblation of a meat offering bacon in the oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, or unleavened wafers anointed with oil. And if, the, if thy oblation be a meat offering bacon in a pan, it shall be a fine flour unleavened mm -hmm. mingled with oil. So if you're going to cook something for the Lord, this is how you got to do it. The Lord have order of how you're supposed to do things, right? Go ahead. Thou shalt part it in pieces mm -hmm. and pour oil thereon. Mm -hmm. It is a meat offering. And if thy oblation be a meat offering, baking in the frying pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. And thou shalt bring the meat offering that is made of these things unto the Lord. And when it is presented unto the priest, he shall bring it unto the altar. Uh -huh. And the priest shall take from the meat offering a memorial thereof, and shall burn it upon the altar. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And that which is left of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It is the thing most holy of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. Um, skip down to um, 12. As for the oblation of the first fruits, mm -hmm. you shall offer them unto the Lord, but they shall not be burnt on the altar for a sweet savor. And every oblation of thy meat offering shall thou season with salt. Neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant. Man, he wanted a lot of salt on that, on that meat, right? <laughs> right. Go ahead. Neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking. Well, from... he don't want it to be lacking. He no. Wants, he wanted that thing to be seasoned, right? <laughs> Go ahead. From thy meat offering, mm -hmm. with all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt. Mm -hmm. And if thou offer a meat offering of thy first fruits unto the Lord, Thou shalt offer for the meat offering of thy first fruit, fruits, green ears of corn dried by the fire, mm -hmm. even corn beaten out of full ears. Mm -hmm. And if thou shalt put oil upon it and lay frankincense thereon, it is a meat offering. And the priest shall burn the memorial of it, part of the beaten corn thereof, and part of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So all you're doing is, all you're doing is, is, uh, you, um, you're just burning it to, 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 towards the Lord, and uh, that's all he want to do. Is, all he want to do is smell it. That's it. But he want to see you diligent. He want to see you, you know, uh, for you to, you got to do some work for you to, to be forgiven for your sins, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Read um, three. And if his oblation be a sacrifice of peace offering. Mm -hmm. This is he, a peace offering. Go ahead. If he offer it of, of the herd, whether it be a male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering and kill it at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar round about. Uh -huh. And he shall offer the sacrifice of the peace offering, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. The fat that covered the inwards and all the fat is 
is upon the, the inwards, mm -hmm. and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver with the kidneys, it shall he take away. Mm -hmm. And Aaron's son shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice, mm -hmm. which is upon the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord be of the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. So you got choices, but um, whatever you do, it, it got to go according to the word of God. Go ahead. If he offer a lamb for his offering, then shall he offer it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of his offering mm -hmm. and kill it before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron's son shall sprinkle the blood thereof round about upon the altar. Uh -huh. And he shall offer the sacrifice of the peace offering, an offering made by fire unto the Lord, the fat thereof, and the whole rump. It shall he take off hard by the backbone, and the fat that covered the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, mm -hmm. and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver with the kidneys, it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar. Mm -hmm. It is the food of the offering made by fire unto the Lord. That's right. And if his offering be a goat, then he shall offer it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of it and kill it before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle the blood thereof upon the altar round about. And he shall offer thereof his offering. So you notice that you always got to sprinkle his blood. This blood has significance, um, sister and brother. Go ahead. Even an offering made by fire unto the Lord, mm -hmm. the fat that covered the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver, with the kidneys it shall he take away. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire for a sweet savor. All the fat is the Lord's. It All shall be, the fat is the Lord's. Go ahead. It shall be a perpetual statute for your generations throughout all your dwellings that you either need fat nor blood. So we shouldn't eat fat nor blood up to this day, right? Right. right. So you see that fat system, brother? Just put that thing aside. <laughs> Throw that in the trash, the blood and all that. Because, you know, people do eat blood, right? But they don't know according to the word, according to God's word, you ain't supposed to. All right, um, we're going to read, um, we're going to go straight into four, and we're going to read two verses there, and then we're going to get into it. Go ahead. <coughs> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance. Through again, ignorance, not willfully, through ignorance, right? Mm -hmm. Then you could bring a lamb. Right, go ahead. Against any of the commandments of the Lord. Mm, against any of the commandments of the Lord, go ahead. Concerning things which are not to be done, mm -hmm. and shall do against any of them. That's right. So now let's go look at that. Let's go to the, back to the law. Because we got to look into this law and understand what, what is required from God, right? <clears throat> Uh, we're going to Exodus 20, and we're going to read verse 1. Oh, what is it? No, Exodus 19, I'm sorry. Exodus 19 and verse 1. And we're going to do some skipping. We're going to read one verse, and we're going to skip to verse 10. Read verse 1. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. Mm -hmm. Skip down to verse 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, mm -hmm. and let them wash their clothes. Sanctify means to separate these people, right? Go ahead. And be ready against the third day. Uh -huh. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. So you notice, if, even when the Lord come back, it's, it's, n it's not going to be that easy, right? You can't just pull up on the Lord, right? Right. Go ahead. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, mm -hmm. that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Mm -hmm. Whosoever touches the mount shall be surely put to death. What? Not sweet Jesus. Yes, sir. Right. Go ahead. Thou shalt not in hand touch it. You, not but, even touch it? So you see, God is a God of order. Right, go ahead. But he shall surely be stoned uh, or shot through, uh, whether it be beast or man. What? It's beast? Even beast. So you got to make sure the bees don't get close to that mountain, right? Right. 
Go ahead. It shall not live. Mm -hmm. When the trumpet sounded long, they shall come up to the mount. And the trumpet is going to sound again, sister and brother, announcing the, Lord, the coming of the Lord, right? Go ahead. And Moses went down from the mountain to the people mm -hmm. and sanctified the people, mm -hmm. and they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, be ready against the third day. Come not at your wives. What? Come not to your wife? Go ahead. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the nether part of the mount. All and right. Were you there? 17? We're at 17. All right. Let's go straight into the, um, you, you finished that 17? Yeah, I, did, I finished 17. All right. Let's go straight to um, Exodus 20. All right. All right, Exodus 20. And God spake all these words, saying, mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So indeed the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt, and that's the Jesus, the Messiah, who brought us out of the, out of the land of Egypt, right? right. By, the, fire, by the, um, the clouded day and the, and the fire at night, the Lord brought us out of the land of Egypt, right? Go ahead, with a stretched out hand, right? Go ahead. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. And he required for us to have no, no gods before us, right? Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image mm -hmm. or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. So you can't have nothing in, in your house worthy to be worshipped, right? Right. You can't have that, those things. Need a picture on the wall, all of that. You can't have that. When uh, in saying that this is my God. No, you can't have that picture on, on your wall. Go ahead. Or that is in the earth beneath. Uh -huh. Or that is in the water under the earth. Uh -huh. So you're he, he, he making sure that you don't have, because God is a jealous God. He mm -hmm. don't want you to have those things. Right. Because he wants to be worshipped. Right. right. Go ahead. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, mm -hmm. nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, mm -hmm. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, mm -hmm. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, mm -hmm. and keep my commandments. Even Jesus said that if you love me, keep my, my commandments. commandments. So you know this is Jesus speaking to, to us. Go ahead. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, mm -hmm. for so, the Lord will not oh. hold him guiltless. Yeah, let, let's look at that, taking the, the name in vain. What do that mean? Right? Like Christmas. That's in vain. Right. Right? You, you can't do Christmas because it's, 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 it's not what, according to the Word of God, right? Let, let me see the definition I wrote down here. Okay, it has no significance. It's empty, worthless, futile, right? Mm -hmm. Unprofitable. That's what vain means. So you're doing something, you, you, are, you might be going to church on Sunday. It's in vain. You call in a, 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 upon a Trinity God. That's in vain, sister and brother. Right? Go ahead. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Uh huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes. The Lord said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember that, that brother that went to pick up sticks on the Sabbath day? What happened to him? He got stoned. He got stoned. That's right. And remember, we read about sacrifice. Did we read? We read about peace um Peace offering, sin offering, um, first fruit offering, and we're going to read about trespass offering. But do you read about, the, uh, do you bring an offering if you break God's Sabbath day? There's no offering for that. Hmm. There is no, you can't bring a lamb, right? Uh -oh. You can't bring a lamb for that. Hmm. So we got to be careful about this Sabbath day now, because remember the Lord stoned that brother for not keeping the Sabbath. Go ahead. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. So don't tell me you don't know what the seventh day is. Look on your calendar. You will see it. Count them days. You will see. You, you'll come up with Saturday being what? The seventh, seventh day. day. Mm -hmm. Right? That go back all the way back in, um, in, 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 the, in the Romans day. Nebuchadnezzar. Right? Right? Go ahead. 
Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day mm -hmm. and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. It said, Honor your mother and father. There was, there was one, um, um, if we read in, um, I think it was one of these um, old, old books where a, a little a bro brother didn't, didn't um, respect his mother and parents. And um, they put him in bond and they asked him, what should, ask God, what we should do with him? And God says, stone him. Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful, sister and brother, well, our, uh, that, that if we have parents in here. We got to respect our parents. And also the, the, book, the book say that parents have to re, um, respect their children also, right? Yeah. right. Go, go ahead. Thou shall not kill. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. Thou shall not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shall not cover thy neighbor's wife nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, so you can't trespass. They have a trespass offering, but you cannot trespass against your neighbor, right? Go ahead, that's not going without permission. All right, well, we, we finish that. Let's go to see about the New Testament, First John, the third chapter, because some may say the law is done away with. The law is still here in, in effect, right? Yeah. When you get there, uh, John, 1 John, the third chapter, and we're going to read one verse there. It's a reason why we're reading this. Go ahead, read it when you get there, my brother. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Mm -hmm. For sin is the transgression of the law. So we just read the law in and, and the New Testament. Um, they, um, John is saying, um, if you transgress against the law, read it again. Sorry, <laughs> I'm messing it up. Go ahead. Whosoever committed sin, mm -hmm. transgress it also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is, is the, the transgression of the law. Is the transgression of the law. That's right, that's right. Um, let's go back to Leviticus, the fourth chapter. Leviticus, the fourth chapter. And we're going to read it one more time. We're going to read a little bit more, and then we're going to go and see about when the sacrifice started. All right, we're going to pick it up where we left off. We're going to pick it up at 3. Leviticus, the fourth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at 3, verse 3. Go ahead. If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, mm -hmm. then let him bring... For his sin, which he have sinned. Wait a minute, the priest can sin also? Mm. So, um, yeah. Reverend, right. he sinned, right? That's right. But the book said, call no man reverence, right? That's right. So he's sinning already, calling himself reverend, right? Because mm -hmm. reverend, what that means? You, can't, you could only call God reverence. You could only reverence his name, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Go, go ahead. A young bullock without blemish mm -hmm. unto the Lord for a sin offering. Mm -hmm. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And shall lay his hand upon the bullock's head and kill the bullock before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the priest that is anointed shall take of the bullock's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle of the blood seven times before the Lord before the veil of the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar of sweet incense before the Lord, which is in the tabernacle of the congregation, mm -hmm. and shall pour all the blood of the bullock at the bottom of the altar mm -hmm. of the burnt offering. This is significant. Go ahead. Which is at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall take off from it all the fat of the bullock for the sin offering. The fat that covered the inward. So notice the sin offering, you got to do it a little different. You got to go on by the veil and sprinkle the blood seven times. That's totally different. Sin offering is, is significant, sister and brother. Go ahead. Please. And all the fat that is upon the inward. Mm -hmm. And the two kidneys. And the fat is, is, that is upon them, which is by the flanks and the call above the liver. With the kidneys, it shall he take away. Mm -hmm. As it was taken off from the bullock of the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar of the burnt offering. And the skin of the bullock and all his flesh, with his head and with his legs and his inwards and his dung. Even the whole bullock shall he carry forward without the camp 
but to a clean place. But, but we're going to read in the New Testament, you ain't got no veil to sprinkle no blood, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't got no veil to right. sprinkle blood seven times. Right? Go ahead. Where the ashes are poured out and burn him on the wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, shall he be burnt. Mm -hmm. And if the whole congregation of Israel sin through ignorance, mm. and the thing be hid from the eyes of the assembly. Through ignorance, system, brother. Mm. Go ahead. And they have done somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which should not be done and are guilty. Mm -hmm. When the sin which they have sinned against it is known, then the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin and bring him before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands upon the head of the bullock before the Lord. And the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the priest that is anointed shall bring of the bullock's blood to the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall dip his finger in some of the blood and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord, even before the veil. Mm -hmm. And he shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar, which is before the Lord, that is in the tabernacle of the congregation. <coughs> and shall pour out all the blood at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, uh -huh. which is at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. We're going to see um, when Jesus died, we're going to see what happened to his blood, right? Go ahead. And he shall take all his fat from him and burn it upon the altar. And he shall do with the bullock as he did with the bullock for a sin offering. So shall he do with this. And the priest shall make an atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And we're going to see Jesus made atonement for us, right? Right. Go ahead. And he shall carry forth the bullock without the camp and burn him as he burned the and first bullock. And we're going to notice this, without the camp, right? We're going to see that, that um, Jesus did that also. Go ahead. It is a sin offering for the congregation. Mm -hmm. When a ruler have sinned and done somewhat through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord, his God concerning things which should not be done and is guilty, or if his sin wherein he have sinned, come to his knowledge. He shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a male without blemish. So when you sin, sister and brother, you got to acknowledge your sin. Right? Amen. Right, go ahead. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the goat and kill it in the place where they kill the burnt offering before the Lord. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall take up the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering and shall pour out his blood at the bottom of the altar of burnt offering. Mm -hmm. And he shall burn all his fat upon the altar as the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall make an atonement for him as concerning his sin, and it shall be forgiven him. And if any one of the co common people sin through ignorance. Mm, the common people meaning not Israel, right? Go mm -hmm. ahead, or the people that don't believe in God. Right. Right, go ahead. While he doeth somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord, mm -hmm. concerning things which are so not... they still got to keep the law. Right. Right? The common people, right? Go ahead. Concerning things which are not to be done mm -hmm. and be guilty, or if his sin, which he have sinned, come to his knowledge, mm -hmm. then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sins which he have sinned, and he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering and slay the sin offering in the place of the burnt offering. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall take of the blood thereof with his finger and put it upon the horns of the altar for, of burnt offering and shall pour out all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And he shall take away all the fat thereof as the fat is taken away from off the sacrifice of peace offerings. Mm -hmm. See, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. To take out fat out of meat, that's a lot mm -hmm. of work. Mm -hmm. So sinning is not, I mean, when right. we sin so easily, it's hard for us to be taken away. Right. Right? So. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. And if he bring a lamb for a sin offering, he shall bring it a female without blemish. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering and slay it for a sin offering mm -hmm. in the place where they kill the burnt offering. Man, so you know, they, them, them priests, they was busy mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. children of Israel are sinning daily, minute right. by minute. Uh -huh. So imagine how many lamb was coming through there and goats and all they said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Man, go ahead. And the priest shall take up the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it up on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and shall pour out all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And he shall take away all the fat thereof, 
as the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar according to the offerings made by fire unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall make an atonement for his sin. And notice the priest have to do it exactly how the Lord said it need to be done. Because if he don't do it that way, it would not be accepted. Right, go ahead. For his sin that he have committed, and it shall be forgiven him. All right. So, um, let me finish that. Let's go to Genesis. Genesis, the second chapter, verse 7. Because this is where it started, where the um, sacrifice initially started. We're going to read into it. All right, pick it up at um, verse 7. Go ahead. We're going to read to 9, and then we're going to do some skipping. Go ahead. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. So the, he breathed in, into the nostril the breath of life and it became a living soul. So what about if you reverse that? What is going to happen? He's going to remain a dead soul, right? right? And if you be on the ground long enough, where are you going to, be, to return? To the to dust, the right? Yes, right? Mm. So... All right, we don't want to test that in here, right? No, sir. See, because some people need proof, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody don't need no proof. Well, go ahead. <laughs> and the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, mm -hmm. and there he put the man whom he had formed. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight mm -hmm. and good for food. Good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So oh, the, the, you got the natural trees, and then you got the, tr the tree of, of, of life, and then you got the tree of good, of good and evil, right? Mm -hmm. You know who the tree of life is? Jesus, Jesus, right? Right. And then you got Satan, right? Right. The tree of good and evil. All right, uh, read on. Oh, we're skip. No, we're going to skip, yeah. 15. Go to 15. And the Lord God took the man mm -hmm. and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, mm -hmm. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Even the, um, the, um, Jesus, right, the, um, the tree of life, even that tree. But not the tree of good and evil, right? Go ahead. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, mm -hmm. thou shalt not eat of it. Mm -hmm. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Yeah, that, that day, right, is not a day like today, but it's a millennium day he's talking about, right? 1,000 years, right? Go ahead. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Mm -hmm. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field mm -hmm. and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam mm -hmm. to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Mm -hmm. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. And it's still so this day, right? Go ahead. But for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. So the woman was already there. She was already in, in it, she's part of the dirt because she's from him. Right? Go ahead. And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, mm -hmm. made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Mm -hmm. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Mm-hmm. Let's go to, uh, skip down to three. Genesis, the third chapter. Verse, now this, verse hmm? one to 13. Go ahead. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the, the field. Than any beast. So that, that, that means that he is the individual beast, um, beast, not an animal beast, but he's different, right? He, he's, they, he's not associated with those beasts that, were, that, um, that, was, um, that we're talking about in the garden here. That was created when man was created, right? Right. This is talking about a different beast. Right, go ahead. Which the Lord God had made. Mm -hmm. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, have God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the woman said unto the serpent. So the woman understand the commandments of the Lord. But, you know, go ahead. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. 
but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden. Mm -hmm. God have said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest she die. Mm -hmm. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall so not surely die. So they're die. having conversation here, sister and right. brother. Right. right, go ahead. For God does know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, mm. and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So she, um, Satan is telling her something that God didn't tell her, and she eating it up. Go ahead. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm -hmm. and that it was pleasant to the eyes, mm -hmm. and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, mm -hmm. and gave also unto her husband with her. She liked that, what, what, what had been told to her, right? Right. And she went and go and give it to her husband, and he liked it too. And he did eat. And he eat too, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> he said, man, I like God is keeping this from us. Right. Man. <laughs> go ahead. And the eyes of them both were open. Wow. And they knew that they were naked. Mm. And they sold fig leaves wait, wait together. Wait a minute, they didn't know that they were naked? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. And they sold fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. So the Lord was in the garden. He was there on earth, sister and brother. Go ahead. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, mm -hmm. Where art thou? Mm -hmm. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. So and this, this uh, contrary to what Job of Witness may believe, that that that. that God don't come down here on earth, but here is here is said that he came and he was amongst them, right? Right. Right, right. right go ahead. And I hid myself. Mm -hmm. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Who told you that? That was the conversation they had. He, they, he, um, they told him something that, that was forbidden, right? right? Go ahead. Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee? He know exactly where they're coming from, right? Right. Go ahead. That thou shouldest not eat. Mm -hmm. And the man said, the woman mm. whom thou gavest to be with me. Don't tell me he threw the woman under the bus. He did. My brother don't play, right? <laughs> All right, go ahead. And what he said? She gave me of the tree, uh -huh. and I did eat. He should have rebuked the woman right then and then. <laughs> right. Say, woman, why you listen? Didn't God forbid us to listen to the to Satan? Why did you listen to him? Right. She should have. He should have stopped her right then and then. But he liked what she told, what what yeah. been told to him, right? Go ahead. And the Lord God said unto the woman, "What is this that thou hast done?" But notice that uh, the Lord came to the the man first, mm. right? Right. Because he know better, right? Go ahead. And the woman said, "The serpent beguiled me, mm -hmm. and I did eat." Yeah, he told me something nice, <laughs> right? And he got me, right? Go ahead. Right. You want to skip? That, well, oh yeah. That was in the end of thirteen. Okay, we're gonna skip. Yes. We had uh, verse skip, 20. Uh, uh, skip straight on to um, 35. How many, yeah. No, 20, 20, 20. I'm sorry. Go ahead, 20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve mm -hmm. because she was the mother of all living. She is. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Where you get coats of skins from, sister and brother? Dead animals. Dead, you got to kill them, right? Gotta kill them. So that's what the Lord did. That's the first sacrifice. Let's look at um, some more um, first fruit offerings. Let's um, go to um, the third chapter. No, the fourth oh, chapter. Yeah. Genesis, the fourth chapter. Mm. So you had first fruit offering Cain and Abel, right? Cain and Abel. Go ahead, read. And Adam knew, his e knew Eve, his wife. Mm -hmm. And she conceived and bare Cain and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Mm -hmm. But Cain he was a sheep herder, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Mm -hmm. And in process of time, it came to pass. Because when you read this, you got to read this with understanding system, brother, because you think it's only, after this, it's only Cain and, and Abel was alive. No, because this is a process of time, right? Because mm -hmm. remember, um, Adam and, and, and um, Eve, they live long, yeah. right? Go ahead. That Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock mm -hmm. and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Mm -hmm. But unto Cain, 
and to his offering he had not respect. Mm -hmm. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? Mm -hmm. If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? Mm -hmm. And if thou so, doest not well. So all he had to do is do it over again. Right. And do it right this time. Yes, sir. But the brother, the brother got mad. Satan don't, don't, got in his head, right? Go ahead. And if thou doest not well, mm -hmm. sin lieth at the door. Mm -hmm. And sin is the transgression of the law. Right. right. You see, the law was always there, sister and brother. All right, go ahead. And unto thee shall be his desire, mm -hmm. and thou shalt rule over him. Mm -hmm. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they went to the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Slew him? Never okay, heard. go ahead. And, and the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? Mm -hmm. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? He know. He know where he at. Go ahead. And he said, what hast thou done? Mm -hmm. The voice of thy brother's cr blood cried unto me from the ground. So if, if there was no law system, brother, so you say, oh, Abel, he's over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know where he at, you know. Right. <laughs> but there is a law. Right, go ahead, finish that up, go ahead, read it. 11. And now art thou cursed from the earth, mm. which have opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. You see all this blood is important, right? Go ahead. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Mm -hmm. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. That's right. Uh, skip down to 20. I'm sorry. No, 14, 14. 14. Read 14. 14. All right. Read all the way down. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. That's right. So let's look at the um, refuge. Refuge. Let's go to, um, let me see, let me see this verse. We're going to read Romans 6, and then we're going to read about refuge. Uh, Romans 6, because Romans 6, we're going to read one verse there, and that's verse 23. Go ahead. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death, uh -huh. but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our mm -hmm. Lord. That's right. The Lord could have killed Cain right then and then, but you see, no, you give him a little, little, little um, breeze, right? Mm -hmm. Give him a break a little bit. But yeah, but if you sin, you're right, the wages of sin is death, sister and brother, right? But um, let's look at, um, let's go on um, Numbers 35. We're going to look at refuge. Because he went away and he had to go to the city of refuge. Everything you need to know is in this Bible. It's for salvation purposes. All right, we're going to pick it up at verse 1, and we're going to read the whole chapter, right? Go ahead. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, mm -hmm. Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance. Notice that the Lord only speak to Moses. He don't even speak to Aaron. He speak to Moses. Mm -hmm. Right? Now go ahead. Of their possession cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. Mm -hmm. And the cities shall they have to dwell in. And the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle and for their goods and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites shall reach from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits round about. Mm -hmm. And you shall measure from without the city on the east side 2,000 cubits, and on the south side 2,000 cubits. Man, that sounds like um, Atlanta now, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, the south side, east side, yeah. and all that, in the suburb. Go ahead. And on the west side 2,000 cubits, uh -huh. and on the north side 2,000 cubits. That's a cubits. whole lot of land, go ahead. And the city shall be in the midst. Mm -hmm. This shall be to them the suburbs of the cities. Mm -hmm. And among the cities which you shall give unto the Levites, there shall be six cities for refuge. Mm. Because the Levite, they don't work. They, I mean, they, the only thing they work work in the, in the sanctuary, right? 
Go ahead. Which he shall appoint for the manslayer, that he may flee thither. For the manslayer, go ahead. And to them you shall add 40 in two cities. So the manslayer got a city that way he go and flee to, right? Go ahead. So all the cities which he shall give to the Levites shall be 40 in eight cities. Mm -hmm. Them shall you give with their suburbs. And it, even in America, they have places that you put when, when you um, slay somebody, they put you in jail. <laughs> Some of them take you to Rocket Islands and, and different places, mm -hmm. right? So this is, this, is, this is according to the law, and, 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 and they, they're doing it here in America and all over the world, right? Go ahead. And the cities which he shall give shall be of the possession of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. From them that have many, ye shall give many. But from them that have few, ye shall give few. Mm -hmm. Everyone shall give of his cities unto the Levites, according to his inheritance, mm -hmm. which he inherited. And the Lord, shall, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, mm -hmm. that the slayer may flee thither, mm -hmm. which killeth any person at unawares. So this is un unawares, that mean unintentionally, right? Go ahead. And they shall be unto you cities re for refuge from the avenger, that the man slayer die not. You know who the avenger is? The people that don't want to take revenge, right? You might kill, kill a friend or something. Somebody mm -hmm. might kill your friend or something. You want to take revenge. Mm -hmm. But it might be um, somebody kill that person by mistake or, 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 you know, they didn't meant to do it or something like that. It just happened, right? But that person has to go to a, uh, a different place to, hi to hide until they get, um, till we get through the court system or the judge being judged and all these things, right? Rightfully. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Until he stand before the congregation in judgment. Mm -hmm. And of these cities, which he shall give, six cities shall ye have for refuge. Mm -hmm. Ye shall give three cities on this side, Jordan. Mm -hmm. And three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan, mm -hmm. which shall be cities of refuge. Mm -hmm. These six cities shall be a refuge, both for the children of Israel and for the stranger. That's right. And for the sojourner among them that everyone that killeth any person unawares may flee thither. Mm -hmm. And if he smite him with an instrument of iron, so that he die, he is a murderer. Mm -hmm. The murderer shall surely be put to death. So you see, a murderer, you're going to be put to death. You're not going to the city of refuge. You're not going there, right? You're going to be judged right then and then, right? Go ahead. And if he smite him with throwing a stone, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. Mm -hmm. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Right. Or if he smite him with a hand weapon of wood, mm -hmm. wherewith he may die. If you hit that brother with a two by four, you are murderer. <laughs> Go ahead. And he die. He is a murderer. Mm -hmm. The murderer shall surely be put to death. That's right. The revenge of blood himself shall slay the murderer. Mm -hmm. When he meeteth him, so, he shall slay him. So when the revengers see you, a uh, murderer, he can do what he want to do at this point. Right, go ahead. But if he thrust him of hatred, or hurl at him by laying of weight that he die, mm -hmm. or in enmity, smite him with his hand that he die, he that smote him shall surely be put to death, for he is a murderer. The revenge of blood shall slay the murderer when he meted him. Mm -hmm. But if he thrust him suddenly without enmity, or have cast upon him anything without laying of weight, or with any stone wherewith a man may die, seeing him not, and cast it upon him, mm -hmm. that he died and was not his enemy, neither sought his own. Then the congregation shall judge between the slayer and the revenge of blood according to these judgments. Mm, a revenger is, you hear the talk about closure. You heard that in the court. They said these people want closure. Right, right. Yeah, so th those, those are the um, revengers. So they want, if, if you kill one of their family, they want, they want to, you know, they want to get to you, <laughs> and they want to kill you. But that's why if, if, if somebody is killed um, unintentionally, the, the, uh, um, the, the, uh, that person there who killed that person could go to the city of refuge and stay there until the priest died. Then that person could come back. That was the law. But if you come back before your time, the avenger can kill you, mm. and they, and and in court this is is um is is cool, you know what I'm saying? Right. You, you did right, 
because he ain't supposed to come back. Right, go ahead. Because it, it's even like that th today. Go ahead. And the congregation shall deliver the slayer out of the hand of the revenge of blood. Mm -hmm. And the congregation shall restore him to the city of his refuge, whither he was fled. And he shall abide in it unto the death of the high priest, which was anointed with the holy oil. Mm -hmm. But if the slayer shall at any time come without the board of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and the revenge of blood find him mm -hmm. without the borders of the city of his refuge, mm -hmm. and the revenge of blood kill the slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood. You hear that? That's the word of God. He shall not be guilty. But, yeah, go ahead. Because he should have remained in the city of his refuge mm -hmm. until the death of the high priest. So that's why when you see that some of these prisoners, they, they, uh, they, they, you know, they escape out of jail and, 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 and then people be looking for them. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the cops be looking at them because they know the avenger is looking for them also. Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But after the death of the high priest, the slayer shall return into the land of his possession. Mm -hmm. So these things shall be for a statute of judgment unto you throughout your generations and all your dwellings. Whoso killeth any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses. Mm -hmm. But one witness. And you must, you must have witnesses, sister and brother. Go ahead. But one witness shall not testify against any person to yeah, cause him to not, die. That's not enough. Even in court, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Moreover, you shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer, mm -hmm. which is guilty of death, mm -hmm. but he shall be surely put to death. Yeah. And you shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. Mm -hmm. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. But by the blood of him that shed it, defile not thereof the land which shall inhabit. Yeah, you can see that if, if, if you know, if somebody die in a house and blood was all over the house, they defile that house, sister and brother. And, and, and you, if you saw that blood, you wouldn't want to live there no more. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. well, right. you know, so if it's one of your family or something got slew and you saw all that blood, you're like, man, I don't want to live there no more. But it's, you, it's understandable. But anyway, um, let's go to... Um, we finish that. Let's go to Exodus, the 12th chapter, because this is the ultimate sacrifice, right? This, this um, Passover sacrifice is significant because this represents Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, mm -hmm. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Mm -hmm. which, which month we talking about shall be the beginning of month? The month of our bib system, uh -huh. brother. So you see, the, um, we got biblical calendar system, brother, right? Um, so the Sabbath day is, is good because here we got, we got months. We got beginning of year and everything, right? Go ahead. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Mm -hmm. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, mm -hmm. In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, mm -hmm. a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, mm -hmm. let him and his neighbor next, to, next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Mm -hmm. Every man according to his eating mm -hmm. shall make your count for the lamb. Yes. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Without blemish. Go ahead. A male of the first year. Uh -huh. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. On the 14th day. That's significant because that's how we know when the Passover come around, right? Right. Go ahead. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Mm -hmm. And they shall take of the blood. So, so when they killed Jesus, was the, the, uh, the high priest then was there. Israel was there, right? The Romans was there. All of them was a, a witness to that, right? Go ahead. And strike it on the two side posts mm -hmm. and on the upper door posts of the houses. And, and notice Jesus was on a pole, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Wherein they shall eat it. Mm -hmm. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roasted with fire and unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Mm -hmm. Eat not of it raw, not sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, mm -hmm. his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. 
and you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it, until the morning you shall burn with fire. So, then Jesus said, eat, eat my flesh and drink my blood. Mm -hmm. Didn't he say that, right? This is what he means, right? Go ahead. And thus shall you eat it, with your loins girded, mm -hmm. your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Mm -hmm. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in when, the land of when Egypt. When he says the Lord's Passover, he's talking about the Father. Right? Because mm -hmm. remember, Jesus died for our sins, so he's talking about the Father here. Right? Go ahead. For both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt, mm -hmm. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. That's right. Um, let's go to... Let's see. Let's go to Matthew. No, John, the first chapter. I mean, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Because we're going to see that Jesus is the Lamb indeed. Because if, um, if the Muslim read the book correctly, they would understand that Jesus is the sacrificed Lamb. All those sacrifices was going on is a representation of Jesus Christ, right? Because for us to get for for us to get uh, forgiveness for sin, uh, we're gonna go straight to verse twenty nine. Read it. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him mm -hmm. and saith, "Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world." Mm -hmm. That's right. So John is the is a high, is a priest. He's a high priest, right? Right. Yeah. Um, let's go to Hebrews the tenth chapter, because Jesus, this is what he came for. You want that Matthew twenty six? Oh, I'm sorry, Matthew twenty six. Matthew twenty six. Thank you, brother. All right. Good thing I give you them notes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Keep me in line, right? <laughs> Matthew 26, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. And we're going to do some skipping. Pick it up at verse 1. Read. And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these sayings, mm -hmm. he said unto his disciples, You know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, mm -hmm. and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. To be crucified, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Or skip. Skip, um, skip down to 14, yeah. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? And mm. I will deliver him unto you. Mm. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. Thirty pieces of silver, sister and brother. Go ahead. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Mm -hmm. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, where wert thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? The what? The Passover system, brother, what we just read in um, Exodus, the 12th chapter. Right, go ahead. And he said, go into the city to such a man and say unto him, the master said, my time is at hand. Mm. I will keep the Passover at thy house uh -huh. with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them. And they made ready the Passover. Mm -hmm. Now when the even was come. Mm, that's like what Exodus, the, um, the, the 12th, 12th chapter said, at the evening, right? Right. Go ahead. He sat down with the 12. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Mm -hmm. And they were exceeding sorrowful. And began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? Mm. And he answered and said, he that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, mm -hmm. the same shall betray me. Mm -hmm. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Mm -hmm. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Ah. You don't want to be that, be that person, system, brother. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? He said yeah. unto him, of course it's you. Right? Thou hast said. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it uh -huh. and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Uh -huh. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, mm -hmm. for this is my blood of the New Testament. That's right. Which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Mm, for everybody, right? For the right. remission of sin. Go ahead. But I say unto you, 
I will not drink henceforward of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. So that means the Passover continues, sister and brother, until you come into the kingdom of the father. Mm -hmm. Right? So the reason why the Passover, because people are sinning every day and people are repenting, uh, you know, they, every day, right? Right. Go ahead. And uh, when, go ahead. And when they had sung in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, Oh, you shall be offended because of me this night. Mm -hmm. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what mm -hmm. usually happens. But uh, let's go to John, John 19. John 19. I wanted to show you about the blood. John 19, and we're going to pick it up at verse 16, and we're going to read to 42. <coughs> Go ahead, read it when you get there. Then delivered he him, therefore, unto them to be crucified. Mm -hmm. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place mm -hmm. called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, mm -hmm. where they crucified him and two other with him. On either side one and Jesus in the midst. Mm -hmm. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. This title then read many of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Mm. Then said the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate. So you see, that, and I don't know why they're kicking against the name, but... The, the, the name was written down. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Write not the king of the Jews, mm -hmm. but that he said, I am king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Pil <laughs> okay. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. That's right. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, mm -hmm. woven from the top throughout. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it. Mm -hmm. Whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, they parted my raiment among them. Mm -hmm. And for my vesture, they did cast lots. And you can read that in Psalms, right? Right. Go ahead. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, mm -hmm. and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. Then said he to the disciple, Behold my mother. Mm -hmm. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Mm -hmm. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled the sponge with vinegar, and put it upon his sock and put it to his mouth. Mm -hmm. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Mm -hmm. The Jews he therefore. He gave up the, the bread. Not, right. not, not no um, ghost flying out of you, right? Mm -hmm. Not that. Casper the friendly ghost, not, not him <laughs> no. coming out of you. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. The Jews therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. For that Sabbath day was a high day. No, we got high day, sister and brother. We just, not just the regular weekly Sabbath, but we got, we got annual Sabbaths mm -hmm. that we celebrate. End day seasons, right? Right. Go ahead. Besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, that they might be taken away. Mm -hmm. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first. And of the other, which was crucified with him. Mm -hmm. But when they came to Jesus. When they came to Jesus, what? And saw that he was, uh, he was dead already. Uh -huh. They break not his leg. Uh -huh, because that was prophesied, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Mm -hmm. And forthwith came there out blood and water. Why? And he, 
That's why I was saying that blood, right? Mm -hmm. It got to go, go to the bottom, right? So that, that, that's what we read in Leviticus. That's what happened to Jesus. That blood gushed out mm -hmm. and it went to the ground, right? Right. Go ahead. And he that saw it bear record. Mm -hmm. And his record is true. And he knoweth that he said true. So this is what John, John the, um, what, what they call the, um, mm -hmm. the, the what, the, 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 the Trinity? Mm -hmm. What they say? I got to read it. What they say that um, the Spirit bear witness this. and, and, and mm -hmm. what, what was it, all of it? I can't remember all of it, but let me go really, really read it really. Because this is significant because this is what really bear record. Mm -hmm. Right? I think it's uh, what? John the fifth chapter? First John the five? First John five. We thought what they use for the Trinity yes. scripture. Read it when verse you Verse seven. Yeah, read it. Uh -huh. Give me uh no verse I started at six. Yeah. First John five and six. Mm -hmm. This is he that came by water and blood, mm -hmm. even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. Mm -hmm. And it is the spirit that bear witness because the spirit is true. Mm -hmm. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the father, the word and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Mm -hmm. And there are three that bear witness in, in earth, not the spirit and the water mm -hmm. and the blood. And these three agree in one. So this is what John really was talking about, sister and brother. But um, finish. Let's continue to read in um, John, John the twenty um, nineteen. Go back to thirty-six. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled: mm -hmm. a bone of him shall not be broken. Go and ahead. again, another scripture said, "They shall look on him whom they pierced." And after this. Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. He came, therefore, and took the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, mm -hmm. about a hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of so Jesus. So that, that's by night. That's that, that, according to the Bible, that will be the next day, sister and brother. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, yeah. Because the next day, no, 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 we, we, we read, it, read into it. Go ahead. Then took they the body of Jesus mm -hmm. and wound it in linen clothes with the spices, as the man of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden. And in the garden, a new sepulcher wherein was never man yet laid. Mm -hmm. There laid they Jesus. Therefore, because of the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulcher was nigh at hand. Because the, um, because the uh, preparation day was the next day, so that couldn't be Saturday, because if they say Good Friday, right? Mm -hmm. So then the preparation day would have been on a Saturday. So that's not correct. So that had to have been the Thursday, sister, the preparation day, sister mm -hmm. and brother. So, Jesus died on Wednesday, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right? Just, just before the sundown. So, and the preparation will be the next day, which is Thursday, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, it's not according to um, the Catholic Church. Oh, no. um, Hebrews, the 10th chapter. I'm a little tired because I wake up very early. I'm trying to get it so I don't miss the plane. So I, I woke up like four o'clock trying to get here. So to bring y'all the word. We do a lot of work to bring this word mm -hmm. to y'all, mm -hmm. sister and brother. Yes, sir. Praise yeah. So we're going to Hebrews, the 10th the chapter. Because this is what Jesus came for. Because those bloods. The, the, um, the goats and the lamb can't do it for us, sister and brother. So, therefore, that's why Jesus had to come. Pick it up at verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, mm -hmm. and not the very image of the things. I mean, I mean sorry, Hebrews the 10th chapter. Is it Hebrews 10? Is Hebrews 10? Yeah, that's 10. <laughs> I'm really tired. All right. 10 and 1. Wake up. Yeah. All right then, Hebrews, <laughs> Hebrews then. Yeah, I need to wake up. Let me drink some of this water. <laughs> I've been up too late. 
Ah, uh, Hebrews right. did. Uh, I'm gonna start it back at the top. But start mm -hmm. back on the top, yeah. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, mm -hmm. and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices, which they offered year by year continually, mm -hmm. make the comers thereunto perfect. Mm -hmm. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, mm -hmm. because that the worshipers, once purged, should have had no more conscience of sin. So they come back, they, they, I mean, they come back like ne next week, right? Mm -hmm. And they offer, offer another line, right? Go ahead. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. Mm -hmm. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrificing offering thou wouldest not, mm -hmm. but a body hast thou prepared. Yeah, him. the Muslim got to understand is a body was prepared. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In burnt offerings. So, and, so God cannot die, but a body was prepared, sister and brother. Right, go ahead. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, mm -hmm. thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, mm -hmm. to do thy will, O God. Mm -hmm. Above when he said, sacrificing offering and burnt offerings, an offering for sin thou wouldest not, mm -hmm. neither has pleasure therein, uh -huh. which are offered by the law. Then Which said, law? Animal the sacrifice. Animal, animal sacrifice law system, brother. Go ahead. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Mm -hmm. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. once for all. And every priest standing daily ministering, offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. Mm -hmm. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins. One sacrifice for sins. Sister forever. For, for what? Forever. Forever. Sat down on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. So From, this forever don't mean forever. It means forever, <laughs> sister, <laughs> brother. Right. You, you have Jehovah, Jehovah Witness twist this word forever, right? Mm -hmm. And they say forever don't mean forever. But this means mean forever. forever. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. From henceforth. Expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Mm -hmm. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Mm -hmm. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant when that. When he's talking about the Holy Ghost in this case, system, right? he's talking about the Word. Right? We can go read it in the Old Testament, right? Go ahead. This is the covenant. That I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will put my laws into their hearts, and their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities. In, indeed, this law is in our mind system, brother. Because the reason why, because when you see, um, you, you're in the desert and you see a stop sign, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to stop right there, because there's nobody around. Mm -hmm. But you're going to stop. The reason why, because the law is in your mind. You don't want to break the law. But and then, and then again, a, a police might be at the back of that cactus tree, right? Mm. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want to break it. It's in our mind. Right? Go ahead. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Mm -hmm. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. That's right. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. by a new and living way, which he have consecrated for us through the veil mm -hmm. that is to say his flesh. That's right. And having so and we don't have that physical veil no more, sister mm -hmm. brother. Jesus did it for us all. So go ahead. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full, and full assurance of faith, mm -hmm. having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience mm -hmm. and our bodies washed with pure water. That's right. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Mm -hmm. For as he is faithful, This is promise. the sacrifice we got to offer now, sister and brother. These are the sacrifices. Go ahead. And let us consider one another mm -hmm. to provoke unto love and to good works, mm -hmm. not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, yeah. as the manner of some is, mm -hmm. but exhorting what one another. What do you think the assembly? The assembly is today, sister and brother. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't forsake it, right? Because right. this is this appease God. Mm -hmm. Right? This make God happy when you come here and you assemble it together and hear this word and do what does say the Lord. Right? Go ahead. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Mm -hmm. Especially the day is approaching. You see all these wars going on. 
Euphrates River dried up and all this system, but the time is near. We need to gather together, right? Right, because we need to know, because God, God requires us to add to the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to know if, if, if you don't understand this word, that you, it's time for us to go to the wilderness? Mm -hmm. How are you going to know that if you don't assemble? That's right. Right? Um, let's see. Where we at? We finished? That, that was 10? All right, let's go to 13. Hebrews 13. Hmm. And not just me being tired, it's hot in there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, yeah, pick it up at verse five. All right. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Uh -huh. And be content with such things as ye have. Mm -hmm. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Uh -huh. So that we may boldly say. The Lord is my helper, mm -hmm. and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Mm -hmm. Remember them which have the rule over you, mm -hmm. who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Mm -hmm. Be not carried about with diverse. So whatever the Lord did back in, in those days, he's going to do it again, mm -hmm. sister and brother. Go ahead. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. Uh -huh. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, mm -hmm. not with meat. These things please God, sister and brother. Right? Go ahead. Which uh have not profited them mm -hmm. that have been occupied therein. Mm -hmm. We have an altar where they have no right to eat which serve the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, mm -hmm. suffered without the gate. Then, then, then we read that in the Old Testament? Yeah. Right? right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that was the end of 12. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1 Peter. Now we're talking about, about us, our sacrifice that we got to offer up to the Lord. 1 Peter. Because we can't, we can't do them lamb anymore, sister and brother. But this is what we got to appease God. We got to appease him. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, it's 1 Peter, right? 1 First, First Peter, the second chapter. Right. 1 Peter, the second chapter. All right. First Peter, the second chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 19. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's some good mm -hmm. stuff in there. Um, let's pick it up at uh, verse 1, because there's some good stuff in there that we need to know. Go ahead. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, and all guile, mm -hmm. and hypocrisies, and envies, mm -hmm. and all evil speakings, as newborn babes, Desire the sincere milk of the word, mm -hmm. that ye may grow thereby. Mm -hmm. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, mm -hmm. to whom coming, as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, mm -hmm. but chosen of God and precious. Mm -hmm. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house mm -hmm. and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. This is what we got to offer up, spiritual sacrifice unto the Lord, right? Right. Acceptable. Go ahead. Acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, mm -hmm. elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Mm -hmm. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, mm -hmm. being disobedient, wherein to also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, uh -huh. a royal priesthood, mm -hmm. and holy nation. A what? A holy nation, mm -hmm. a peculiar people, mm -hmm. that ye should show forth the praises of him. Ye should show forth the praises of the Lord. Who have called you out of darkness mm -hmm. into his marvelous light, mm -hmm. which in time past were not a people. These things are acceptable to the Lord. Go ahead. But are now the people of God, mm -hmm. which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Mm -hmm. Dearly beloved, 
I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Skip down to 19. Go ahead. For this is thankworthy. If a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully, mm -hmm. for what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently? Mm -hmm. But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, mm -hmm. this is acceptable with God. Mm -hmm. For even hereunto were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, mm -hmm. leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, uh -huh. who did no sin. Neither was God found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, mm -hmm. who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, mm -hmm. that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, mm -hmm. by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd, ambition of your soul so these are the things that peace god right uh, romans the 12th chapter because this is what you got to do you got to give your body up to the lord sister and brother as a living sacrifice this day uh, romans the 12th chapter and verse 1 Go ahead. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, mm -hmm. but to think soberly, mm -hmm. according as God have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Mm -hmm. For as ye have, for as we have many members in one body, mm -hmm. and all members have not the same office, mm -hmm. so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another, mm -hmm. one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to in us. In this body, we have different gifts, sister and brother. So we don't need to be fighting about those gifts, right? right? You got your own and I got my own, right? Go ahead. Whether prophecy, <clears throat> let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith mm -hmm. or ministry. Let us wait on our ministry mm -hmm. or he that teacheth on teaching or he that exhorteth on ex exhortation. These things are acceptable and it please God the way we should do these things in order, right? In decency. Go right. ahead. He that giveth. Let him do it with simplicity. Mm -hmm. He that ruleth with diligence. Mm -hmm. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Mm -hmm. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. That's right. We're gonna, hold on. We stop right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's stop right there. Let's go to um, Luke. Luke, the first chapter, because we might say we can't do this. We can't keep them commandments. We can't do all of that. <clears throat> But we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen us, right? That's right. Let's go to Luke, the first chapter, and we're going to read verse 5 to 6. Go ahead. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias mm -hmm. of the course of Abiah. And his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God. Mm -hmm. Walking in there all. Was what? They were both righteous mm -hmm. before God. Before God. Right? That's acceptable to God, right. right? That's it. Go ahead. Walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. Blameless. Right? That went what God asked um, Abraham to walk what? Perfect, Perfect. before me. Mm -hmm. The Lord is asking you that today. Right? Perfect don't mean you, um, you, you know, you, uh, you don't have no blemish on your body or you don't, you know what I mean? Right. But he's talking about in your mind, right? That's what he means by being perfect. Jesus has that, per he got that perfect body when he re resurrected from the, from the, um, the dust. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, from the, from the grave. Uh, let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians, the second chapter. Ephesians, the second chapter. You want that Philippians 2? I mean, it's Philippians. Philippians, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking there at Philippians. I'm not saying Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really tired, bro. <laughs> I, I was at the hospital um, when um, yesterday I was taking my mom to the hospital. My mom uh, got into a, um, a car wreck. I mean, another um, accident. A bus hit her right, and um, she got her leg amputated. Wow. So, so, but uh, she she's doing better now. But um, the thing is, we went to the hospital yesterday for mm -hmm. a, a checkup, and and and. Something happened to her finger, it's bent, and she's trying to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. And we went there sitting down, waiting, waiting, but we was in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And I went there extra early so I could be, <laughs> you know, so I could find the place and everything and be in the right, right place. But <laughs> we ended up being in the wrong place, and, and we had to, now what, that we find the right place, we had to reschedule. Mm -hmm. Man, that really, really messed my day up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was mad about that a little bit. But um, Philippians, the second chapter. Yeah, I got to take care of my mom's system, brother. <laughs> she got her whole leg amputated. <laughs> so I'll be working. Right, right. Um, 12. If he, uh, Philippians, the second chapter, and we're going to read 12. Go ahead. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, mm -hmm. not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, mm -hmm. work out your own. So you ain't got to do the thing for, for pastor. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to do it for pastor. You ain't got to look good for pastor or the teacher. You know what I mean? Right, right. You got to do it for God. That is acceptable. Right, go ahead. Work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. For it is God which worketh in you both mm -hmm. to will and to do of his good pleasure. Uh -huh. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, mm -hmm. that ye may be blameless mm -hmm. and harmless, the sons of God. You got to be blameless without blemish when you do right. these type of works, mm -hmm. sister and brother, when you're dealing with the Lord. Go ahead. Without rebuke, mm -hmm. in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, mm -hmm. among whom you shine you, as lights in the you world. You gotta shine, you gotta shine in this world, right? right? You, um, a brother drop a 20 on the road there and, and you step on it. <laughs> How you been shining in the world? You're not shining in the world, right? right? <laughs> gotta be careful with that. Go ahead. Holding forth the word of life, mm -hmm. that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and the service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. Mm -hmm. For the same cause also do you joy mm -hmm. and rejoice with me. Yeah, these things make, make the, even the teacher joyful when you see all, all the um, children of God is doing right, especially mm -hmm. the one in, in here, right? Right. Go ahead. That was the end of 18. That was 18? Yeah. Okay, let's go to Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Ephesians, Ephesians 5 and 26 to 27. And we ain't, we ain't got to, um, we just got one more system, brother. All right. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Mm -hmm. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, the, so you right. see, he's talking about them sacrifice without blemish. Right. Sister and brother, you God is, you, if for you to be acceptable, you got to be without blemish. Right? Mm -hmm. So you see how hard it was with, with, with them lambs. So Exactly. Right? So go ahead. That was 27. Oh, well, we finished that. that. Uh -huh. Let's go to the last place. Colossians, the third chapter. Let's 
So those, those things that we were doing, those sacrifices, is a schoolmaster to bring us on to Christ's system, brother. So. Colossians, the third chapter, and we're going to pick it 14 to 17. Go ahead. And above all these things, put on charity, mm -hmm. which is the bond of perfectness. Mm -hmm. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Mm -hmm. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns mm -hmm. and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for your time. I hope you got a good understanding of what I'm trying to bring with this sacrifice and offering. <laughs>